It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring and the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hop Along Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hop Along Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And appearing as that laughable old character, California, is Andy Clyde. Now to our story, Red Rock Mesa. Below them, shimmering in the heat of the noon sun, lay Mescalosa Plain. Stretching as far as the eye can see. The squat settlement of Mescalosa in the center, with the pine covered hills of the Indian Reservation to the right, and far in the distance, beyond the white sands of the desert, the flat topped tableland called Red Rock Mesa. Gosh, Hoppy, ain't that a sight? Yeah, it looks mighty hot down there. She was mighty hot the last time I seen her in more ways than one. When was that, California? In 73, the year before the Comanche War. Me and another fella, uh, no, what was his name? Oh, it doesn't matter. No, suppose not. Memory ain't what it used to be. Anyway, me and this other fella get caught ten miles out of Mescalusa by a bunch of Comanches. And they run us clean across that desert and up Red Rock Mesa. Hmm. Nearest ever come to parking with my corp, you <laughs> <laughs> When they finally corralled the Comanches and put them on the reservation, I shook the dust of my skeleton off in my boots and promised myself I'd never come back. Well, I don't think we need to worry about the Comanches now, California. They've been behaving themselves for quite a while. Well, I still ain't in love with the Miscalusa country. Wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for this horse business of yours. Them Comanche Indians is about as tough as they come. Why, I remember the time once when I... Uh, uh, hey. What's the matter? That's funny. Huh? That smoke over there. The other side of the ridge. Yeah. What do you reckon? I don't know. Let's take a look. Well, what do you make of it, California? I don't know. Looks like somebody's ranch house get burned down. It's still smoldering. Couldn't have happened more than a few hours ago. Sometime in the early morning. Uh, Hoppy, uh, I ain't one to jump to conclusions, but... Uh, Go on, what is it? Well, a few years back, we never had to think very hard when we run onto a burned ranch house. Comanches? Yeah. we better get out of here. I want to talk to the marshal in Mescalosa. Get down! Down, Hoppy! What was that? Look! In that timber there. It's an arrow. Let's get out of here, Hoppy. Keep down. We might get out the back. Let's go. Hold it. They thought of that, too. Well, they'll have to come and get me. Oh, put your gun away. We're surrounded. If we get out of this at all, it won't be by shooting. There ain't nothing else to do, Hoppy. Maybe not, but we got to try. This is one spot we're going to have to talk our way out of. Drop Mesa. For five eternal minutes, Hoppy in California crouched in the blackened ruins of the ranch house, waiting for something to happen. Then, look. Where? There's one of them coming around that boulder. Give me your handkerchief. Is it white? Used to be. Here. Good. Put it on the stick here. There. Now. Never thought I'd see the day when Hopalong Cassidy would wave a white flag at an engine. Well, if you want to keep your two pan place, you'll shut up. Hello over there. He's coming out. All right now. Cover me while I go out to meet him. Right, Hoppy. And don't pull that trigger unless you have to. Understand? Yeah, yeah. Good luck, Hoppy. Thanks. Howdy. Uh, you speak English? Me no white man talk. 
We know white man ways. Bring other man here. I'd rather leave him where he is. We said bring other man here. What do you want? Guns. You have guns. Yeah, we have guns and we're going to keep them. <laughs> like magpie, you make big talk. You tell other man. Keith, wait a minute. A white girl. What happened? Tell me. You ask white man. He make big talk. Who are you? My name's Cassidy. Where are you from? From the Bar 20 Ranch, quite a ways north of here. My friend and I just got here a few minutes ago. Pulled up on the ridge over there and saw the smoke. Came over to take a look. What are you doing in Mescalosa County? Just come down here to buy some horses. I see. Chief, <laughs> these aren't the men. You must let them go in peace. Bring your friend out here, Mr. Cassidy. All right, miss. California. Here, Alfie. What in tarnation is that white gal doing here? I don't know, but she sure came at the right time. Come on. This is my partner, California Carlson. Howdy, ma'am. How do you do? This is Chief Broken Lance of the command chief. Ah. He's uh, sorry he made the mistake. Where do you like what he's going to He wants you to go in peace. Ah. Uh, mind if I ask what this is all about, miss? Oh, it's simple enough. Someone's trying to stir up another command chief war. What do you mean? Almost every ranch bordering the Indian reservation has been raided during the last few weeks. The cattle run off, buildings burned. This is one of them right here. I see. Uh, uh, do you mind if we... Uh... Oh, of course. Chief, we'd like to talk. You'd better get back to the others. Uh, you tell white man our story, miss. I will. It is well. Now, what makes you think these raids aren't the work of the Comanches? I ought to know I live with them. Uh, uh? I keep an Indian school on the reservation. When the trouble started, I refused to leave with the others. I know the Comanches are innocent, but it's useless to plead with the ranchers in Mescalosa. They're ready to fight now. Our only hope is to catch whoever's behind these raids. So when they saw California and me fooling around this ranch house here, they thought... Of course uh... they did. You're lucky you weren't killed. Thanks to you, Miss, uh... Britt. Martha Britt. You'd better be on your way now. It's a two-hour ride to Mescalosa. Just like that, huh? What do you mean? Going to stay up here and take care of things all by yourself. Fight every white rancher in the county with a bunch of Indians and a lot of nerve? I'm not asking anybody for help. Well, you're going to get our help, whether you want it or not. Here, Jane, too. Oh, thanks. Thanks very much. I would like you to do something for me. And what's that? The Marshal in Mescalosa. His name's Bob Nolan. Keep an eye on him for me, will you? Sure. I want to look things over in town this afternoon. I'll be back here tonight. Will you meet me? All right. I'll be here. She was talking about Hoppy. This town sure spoiling for a fight. Yeah, she wouldn't have a chance talking to these birds. Well, let's see what her friend Bob Dolan thinks. No so that's the way it looks to us ranchers, Nolan. We're getting together tonight to take some action on this thing. I hope you'll be with us. But if you ain't, we're going to go it alone. You're not going to do anything until I say so, Whitman. I tell you, we're tired of waiting. Three ranches burned in the last two weeks. Over a thousand head of cattle, them red skidding varmints run off. But I'm not setting off another Comanche war until I've got something more than suspicion to go on. Is that the only reason, Nolan? What do you mean? Are you afraid your young school mom might get hurt if we tackle her precious Comanches? Think it over, Nolan. Okay, what do you want? I'm Hopalong Cassidy. This is California Carlson. Howdy, Marshal. Howdy. We talked to Miss Britt up in the foothills this afternoon. Martha, how is she? Fine. What did she say about... She's going to see us through from the Comanche side. I was afraid of that. Say, uh, who's that fellow you were talking to? Sully Whitman. Lost 500 head last night. Whitman, huh? Looks sort of familiar. It's like all the rest of them now. Ready to shoot a Comanche on sight. How many cattle are missing now? At least a couple of thousand. There's no ranch around here. Hasn't been hit at least once. Hmm. Can't run all 500 head of cattle without leaving a trail. We followed cattle trails till we're dizzy. Got nowhere. What do you mean you got nowhere, Bob? Every trail leads to the same place. Somewhere in the edge of the Tierra. Tierra? The Tierra de la Muerte. Sand desert south of here. Bob. Sean, what's happened? 
ambush at the edge of the Sierra. They got Bill and Larry. They did, huh? You got horses handy, Cassidy? Right outside. Okay, come on with me. It'll be dark when we get there, but I'll show you what I mean. This is the place. Where'd they fire from, Sean? The rise over yonder. You can see it in the moonlight there. Well, what do you make of it, Cassidy? Just like the others. Cattle tracks leading right out into the desert. How far does the desert go? hundred miles or more. Nothing but sand dunes. Wind washes out the tracks five minutes after they're made. Hmm. Those cattle got to be somewhere. You can't make a couple of thousand head disappear. You say you couldn't see who fired on you, Sean? Nope. The shots came from that rise over there and... Wait. Huh? Look. There in the moonlight. It's an engine. Get down. There he goes. Come on. Here's where you fired from. Sean. Yeah? No use trailing him now. He's halfway through the desert. Well, I'm satisfied now. Yeah? I saw him, and it was an engine. That's all I need. Only one thing. What's that? Take a look at these tracks here. Huh? First time I ever heard of an Indian riding a horse with iron shoes. He might have stolen the horse. Maybe. And maybe it was a white man dressed up to look like an Indian. Huh? I think he wanted us to see him. There's brush cover all over the hill here. A half to know better than to ride up the hilltop against the full moon and start shooting. Say nothing of a Comanche. Hey, maybe you're right. Come on, let's get back to town. run off our cattle and burn our ranches. I know you are, too. Sure, sir. Well, with you, Whitman. They got Bill Connors and Larry Baker at the edge of the desert this afternoon. Hey, here. As far as I'm concerned, that's the last straw. I'm ready to move. Now, wait a minute, Sully. Listen, all of you. The first blow struck against the Comanche Nation will start it up all over again. I know there isn't a card in the lot of you. I'm the last one that's going to run out on my duty here. Hop along, Cassidy and I. We're down to the scene of the shooting tonight. And we still aren't satisfied it was done by the Comanches. Now, look, boys, all I'm asking you now, to do is... Now, wait a minute, was... wait a minute. I'd like to ask the marshal here one question. I'd like to know... Cheese, because he's afraid a certain little school mom might get hurt in the fighting. Okay, silly. Oh, pick him up. Stand back. All right, boys, now get this. There's only one way I can answer that kind of a charge. Be saddled and ready by dawn. I was waiting to hear that. The war's on. It's after midnight now as Hoppy and California ride up to the ruins of the farmhouse where they first met Martha Britt. Hold it, California. Reckon she's here? We'll see in a minute. There she is. Come on. Martha. Mr. Cassidy, we've been waiting for hours. They kept us pretty busy. Who's with you? Broken lamp. Good. The town's up in arms. Oh. They're taken off at dawn. Arms of a teeth. I was afraid of that. Well, Bob's forced him to it. He asked me to get you out of here. The Indians are depending on me. I can't desert them now. Don't be silly. You can't help them by hanging around either. But where can I go? Can't go back to Mescalosa. They think I'm a traitor. I can't stay here in the hill. Wait a minute. What is it, California? I'm thinking. We haven't got time for that. No, I'm thinking the time the Comanches run me and that other fellow up, Red Rock Mesa. Why can't we take Miss Britt there? There's a trail no one knows about on the far side. This fellow showed it to me. His name was... Hey! What's the matter? I got it. The fellow I was up there with. I remember who he is. Who? Whit Sullivan. Sully Whitman. They're the same fellow. That skunk who's firing up the mob down below is the fellow I got run up the mesa with. You sure? Sure, positive. Wait a minute now. 2,000 head of cattle disappearing to the desert. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What? Look out in the valley there. You can see the mesa in the moonlight. 
Suppose those cattle were run out into the sand dunes so the wind could cover their tracks. Then suppose they were turned south to the mesa. What's it like on top? Prettiest land you ever saw. Water there, plenty of grass. Enough for 2,000 head of cattle? For a short spell, sure. So Whitman pulls off the raid, makes it look like the Comanches, then fires up the town for another Indian war. I think I know why now. It begins to make sense. Wait a spell you left me behind. You... Martha. Yes? Tell the chief to get his men together and hold up in the woods here. We'll try to make it back before dawn. Where are we going? To the top of Red Rock Mesa. <laughs> the mystery of the disappearing cow, California. Come on now. Right behind you. Take it easy. I might have a sentry at the top of the trail here. All yeah. right, now. Around the other side of this boulder, we ought to get a look at the top of the mesa. Watch where you stand. Harvey! Look! Right below us. It's covered with cattle. The campfire over there. A couple more on the other side. But there must be 20 men here anyway. And we only want one of them. Uh, to bring back with us for a souvenir. Somehow we got to get one of those guys away from that nearest campfire. Sit down, will you? No, no. You're giving me the willies, pacing around like that. I'm cold. You mean you're yellow. You're scared, stiff. Sure I'm scared. So are you. Only I admit it. It's crazy, that's what it is. Cooking up an Indian ward to keep every man in the county busy. Why, we moved 2,500 head of cows off this tabletop. You hear that? Yeah. One of the horses must have walked down the trail a piece. I'll go. You stay where you are. I'll get him. I need the exercise. Crazy coyotes. Wandering down there this time of the night. Yeah. There you are, you. A white horse. We got them. What is this? Put up your hand. <coughs> Not a sound, understand, or I'll blow you off the top of this mesa. California. Yeah, Hoppy. Stick a gag in his mouth. <coughs> sure, Tie sure. his hand. <coughs> Feet too, Hoppy? No, he's got a long ride ahead of him. He can make him do it side saddle. <coughs> drummed up this expedition. I want you right up in front with the rest of us when the shooting starts. Still sticking up for the Comanches, are you, Bob? Sticking up for you ranchers, if you only knew it. Bob! What is it, Sean? Well, it's getting light enough to see the hills now. Take a look over there on the east ridge. Yeah. Hold it, boys! Pull up a minute! What do you reckon it is, Marshal? Yeah, it looks like a fire over that burned ranch house. Engine? Maybe. Well, it might be a trap. Yeah. Fan up, boys. Divide into two columns. We'll hit the burned ranch house on the east ridge from two sides. <laughs> You've got to believe me, Cassidy. I don't know nothing. I don't know who the boss is. I never saw him. Don't tell us that. If you know what's good for you, you better tell us the truth, mister. I am telling you the truth. I don't know. Shut up. Martha. Yes? How's the chief coming with the fire? He's ready in a minute. Fire? Yeah, an old Comanche custom. A California, you take care of our guests. I'm going over to help with the preparations. Pre- preparations? What do you mean? Oh, nothing much. Just rigging up a framework over the fire. Sort of a perch for the guest of honor. Uh, yeah, back in 73, we used to call it uh, Comanche Conversation Piece. 
Nothing like good warm feet to make a man real talk. <laughs> oh, uh, ever had dealings with the Comanches, mister? No. Well, you've got a lot to learn. Real practical folks, the Comanches. The chief out there, Broken Lance, he's a Comanche of the old school. Don't make engines like Broken Lance no more. Oh, what, what do you mean? Well, I uh, mind the time in 73, just four Gobi walls, when old Broken Lance here had a couple of white prisoners who knew something they wasn't telling. The first one was real stubborn. He wasn't talking. No, sir. He just wasn't talking. Uh, something like you. Yeah? Yeah. Well, to make a long story short, they drug out the conversation piece, like you see here, and, and strung the fella up uh, over the fire barefooted, then begun roaring to him into them red-hot coals. Real slow life. <laughs> then what? The fella wouldn't talk. Just like I said, a real stubborn fellow. So then they coated him with honey from a bee tree and tied him up on top of an anthill. The ants swarmed over that fella something awful. Like to chaw him to bits. The fella still wouldn't talk. So they finally lost pinches and killed him. Dead. Yeah. Oh, what about the other one? Well, but then them Comanches was awful mad. So when it comes to other fellas turn, they decided to get tough with him. Bob, Sean, what'd you find up there? It's the chief, all right, in the clearing by the burned cabin. I got a fire there. Anyone else? I'm not sure, Whitman. I couldn't see no one. Of course you couldn't. It's an ambush, Nolan. If Broken Lance is there, the woods around that cabin are full of Comanches. I'll stake my life on it. That's just what you might be doing. Sean. Yeah? Ride back to the rest. Tell them to stay right where they are and hold their fire until they hear shots in the clearing, understand? Right. What are you doing, Nolan? We're going ahead to talk to Broken Lance, Whitman. You're, you're crazy. What's the matter, Whitman? You yellow? No, I'm not yellow. Let's go. There's a cabin down there. Something's wrong. That fire burning, no one around. Let's go down and take a look. Yeah, we'd better get the others. Take it easy, Whitman. War hasn't even started, and you're ready to jump out of your britches. Oh, don't be a fool. You know this is a crazy stunt as well as I do. Maybe. You're a pretty brave hombre with a mob at your back, Whitman. Just wondering how you handle it alone. Put down that gun. Let go of my hand. That gun. Uh, uh, you know what you did, don't you? Two hundred men are on their way up here right now, ready to shoot on sight. Bob. Cassidy. Where'd the shooting come from? Whitman, the mob's on its way up now. Where's Martha? She's all right. Well, we got to get her out of here. Why, those men no, are... Never mind that now. I think we got the answer what they're looking for. What's that, Cassidy? You'll find out, Whitman. Let's go. Over here. It's a trick, Nolan. Shut up and get going. Follow him around there. I tell you, there's something. Something wrong, Mr. Whitman? No, just... Uh... Yeah, well, what's the matter, boss? Don't you recognize your number one hand? I never saw this man in my life. Uh, no use, Whitman. They found the cattle on the mesa. I told them the whole story. Why, Why are you reaching for an empty holster, Whitman? I got your gun. What is it, Cassidy? You can head off your army and tell them if they change their course for Red Rock Mesa in a hurry, they'll get their cattle back. Whitman and his gang have a whole 2,500 head corralled up on top, ready to move tonight. Or maybe we'd better all ride out there while Mr. Whitman tells them himself. Mr. Cassidy. Yes, Miss Martha? I want you to know how much I appreciate what you've done. There's peace in the valley again, and I think we'll hold on to it. Can I move now to you, honey? Right here in Mescalosa, where I can keep an eye on you. <laughs> All through Sharon Martha with the Comanches, Bob? <laughs> right. I'm sure they can get along without me now. And I expect you two can get along without a couple of Bar 20 cowpokes who ought to be heading back for their home range. I've been waiting for you to make that suggestion, Hoppy. Getting impatient, California? Well, just a mite uneasy, uh, being so close to that there Comanche reservation and all. What uh, do you mean? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, Hoppy... I told that fella such a doggone good story about them Comanche tortures. I ain't been able to sleep nights since. <laughs> <laughs>